In this video, we're going to learn to use some basic summation formulas. The three that we're going to care about are k, k squared, and k cubed. Now, in sigma notation, uh, the original piece is known as open form. This side over here, closed form, is a formula that allows us to jump to the answer if we know how many terms we have, if we know the number n. So much more useful uh, for our purposes. Uh, and the larger that n gets, the better that is for us. So let's take a look at an example for that. So in this original problem, I've got k times k plus 1. Well, we know that we can do a little algebra there, and we can think of that as from 1 to 20 of k squared plus k. Now notice we have a formula for both of those, a k squared formula and a k formula. So we can go ahead and use n, uh, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6 plus n times n plus 1 over 2 as a formula to jump to the answer. Plugging in a 20 for the ends, we would have 20 times 21 times 41 over 6 plus 20 times 21 over 2. And if we do that calculation, we should get 3,080. Faster than finding 20 terms individually and then adding them up. In our second example, again, we're using the same three formulas, but now we've got k plus 1 cubed. Well, if we foil that out, and some of us remember Pascal's triangle, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. We can use that to help us foil, so we get k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. And now we want to create a closed form formula that will help us answer this question. Well, k cubed, we know, is n times n plus 1 over 2 squared plus 3 times k squared, we know, is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. 3 k is n times n plus 1 all over 2. And then our last piece, we've got 1 times the number n, so 1n. So this would create a general formula that would allow us to do any of these that we would like. So any number n, if we wanted to do 10 or 20 or 1,000, we could simply plug in and jump to the answer. 